Hey everyone, today's card's going to be super, super easy and super simple. Anybody can do this. I've got some different colours that I thought coordinated with my little dinosaur that I made from Creative Critter Cricket Cartridge. And he was cut at two and three quarters or 2.75 inches tall. Um, and I've just got some various colours of um, cardstock by Stampin' Up. And I'm going to use the same colours to actually ink around the edges, so the coordinating colours. If you don't have the coordinating colours, you can always use a um, like a, a vintage photo, like a brown or a grey colour to sort of go around the edges and that'll just give it that sort of, it just highlights it, it just, I think it just does something to a piece of cardstock. So um, you'll see in the next few videos, my Cricut series is going to kind of grow very quickly. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do very similar things. Um, but it's just a nice way. I love inks. It's a good way to use your inks. It's a good way to um, experiment with different colors on different card stocks. So here I'm doing tone on tone, but you could do, you know, like I say, a, a, like a vintage brown, vintage photo kind of thing on it. Um, you know, whatever you want. So the first color was, um, I believe, Gorgeous Grape. No, Highland Heather. <laughs> it's sort of, I think it's in the Subtles range. I think all three colors of these are in the Subtles. Um, and then I've got Pear Pizzazz on Pear Pizzazz. And then for the yellow piece, it's So Saffron on So Saffron. And um, these are just a purple, a green, and a yellow. So if you don't have those specific colors, just these are colors I thought worked well together. And also what I did was I cut the, uh, sorry, cuttle bugged or embossed the, um, half of the yellow cardstock um, and that's nice to do if you want to put a sentiment down but you don't want to have to deal with the embossed area because it'll be much more difficult to um, stamp onto a, a textured piece so that's why I did half of it so that I could stamp on it um, but I do also have another little piece that's going to go across um, just to almost give like a you'll see in a second it'll sort of like um give that illusion that there's two different pieces of cardstock whereas that yellow piece is just one piece of cardstock but when you put on the purple strip of cardstock it kind of makes it look like there's two bits of card there um and then also what i'm doing with my sentiment is i am using a my pink stamp of punny licious that's the the whole sort of reason behind doing this Cricut series is that I'm using stamps from her, one of her sets. Um, and I decided to go with a grey this time, like a dark grey, just because there's no black on my main image. Um, I usually pull colours from the main image um, and there aren't any on there, so I decided not to use a black. And then that's pretty much it. <laughs> so you could easily add some sparkle to like a little dots on the back of his, you know, on his back, on his, his mane or whatever they call that <laughs> in dinosaur terms. You could do a whole heap of stuff with it. So I hope you liked this. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more from me. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.